Reflections for 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. The theme for our reflection is feeding the hungry. Everywhere Jesus went during his public ministry, people flocked to him in large numbers. His teaching made a great impression on them. They wanted to hear him. They practically hung on his words. Many came to be cured of their infirmities of body, mind, or spirit. They were not disappointed. Jesus cured them all. Our gospel passage today tells us that a multitude followed him because they saw the signs which he did on those who were diseased. Somehow, in the midst of all that, the people forgot the, that they were hungry. They were so full of admiration for Jesus that the thought of food did not across their minds. They were quite remarkable, almost a miracle. But Jesus did not forget, forget. He knew that they will be hungry and needed to be fed. Philip did not think that they had enough money to buy food for all the people to eat. They were just too many. Andrew did not see what impact the five belly loaves and two fish of a small boy could have on such a multitude. The people did not ask to be fed either. Almost certainly, they too believed that nobody could provide enough food for all of them to eat. Jesus stepped in to prove them all wrong. Like the prophet Elisha, before him, in our first reading, today, Jesus made the five belly loaves and two fish go round to all people. After they had eaten their fill, the leftovers even surpassed the five loaves and two fish they began with. The hunger of those people mattered to Jesus. He could have looked the other way, since in a case, they were not even expecting him to give them food to eat. But he did not. If a miracle was needed to feed them, then he would walk one, and he did precisely that. One of the main lessons we can learn from this story is that Jesus does not want people to be hungry unless, of course, they are fasting, in which case they have chosen to go hungry. But it is not the will of Jesus that people should go hungry when they are not fasting. If it is not the will of Jesus, then, it should not be the will of his followers either. The followers of Jesus should not see people who are hungry and look the other way. They should go what they should do whatever they can to remove that hunger. They can do that either by giving them employment so that they can feed themselves. The point can be further driven home when we realize that the first question that Jesus will ask on the day of judgment is whether or not we gave food to the hungry of our world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was hungry 
and you gave me no food. Confer Matthew 25, 35, and 42. May the word, may the Lord bless his words in our hearts. Amen. Have a beautiful Sunday.